Hello guys and welcome back to getting started with LabVIEW community version Previously we have looked into how to create a project in LabVIEW And today we will look into how to create a sub VI In any programming language usually we have very lengthy codes Or probably a code that requires to be repeated several times and oftentimes we need to simplify the code so that we can create a reusability of that code in in a certain portion of code so in labview that particular function is what we usually we call as a sub vi basically a sub vi is just a vi except that it has the it requires uh, or it simplifies a certain section of the code which we can reuse it again and again now I'm going to give a simple demonstration on how to create a sub VI by using the Pythagoras uh, formula. So first thing, I have already created a project here, and now I will actually create a new VI, and I would like to save this VI in this particular location here called main VI. Now that I have the VI, I will now try to use this Pythagoras formula so as you can see this formula has three types of variable which is the a b and c in of course in Pythagorean formula we usually have the hypotenuse the opposite and of course the adjacent so this we can actually put this into numeric controls so let's put in a numeric control here here and here except for the c we will change this to indicator because this is the output that we want to achieve so let's put this as the adjacent adjacent and the next one is the opposite the opposite and the last one should be the hypotenuse hypotenuse okay so let's do this we have the hypotenuse now this would be the output and this will be the input so based on this formula here we need to square both of these values and take a square root of the sum so what we can do is we can go into the maths palettes and we go to numeric and this is where we can actually find the find the function so we have square here let's square this up and once we have squared them, we need to add them together. We need to add them together. And once we add it, we have to take a square root of the value. And next, we can put this into the hypotenuse. So now let's test this and see whether if this formula works. We put here 3 and 4. And we know that the hypotenuse of uh, this value is 5. When we run it, we should get the value of 5. Now. This is an, a simple example that actually has this formula. So what if I want to create a sub VI so that I can con continuously use this sub VI again and again. So what you need to do is you just need to select the portion that contains the section of the code that does the calculation. And you can see that it will require the input of the adjacent and opposite and the output of hypotenuse. Go to edit and create sub VI here. Select this and what happens here it will actually form a new palette or oh sorry a new vi as, and this is what we call is as the sub vi and if you were to check in this vi you can see that it actually has another vi and you can view into the block diagram here so now we need to save this vi and we can actually save this into the main vi here let's put this as pythagoras formula and now that we have already saved this and of course uh, in this VI you can also uh, modify the VI on how you want it to look all you need to do is open the VI and you can also double click on the icon here and you can modify the how the sub VI icon should look like you have clips you have some layers here you have some templates but most of the time we can just insert some 
icons here so what usually I will do is I will actually double click on the fill rectangle and it will actually clear this up and I can put in whatever text I want and you can see Pythagoras and you can also resize it to make it small but of course uh, you can see how it works formula or probably uh, opposite let's make this small opposite and when you click OK you can see that the formula uh, sorry the icon actually appears in this way so uh, this is a pretty much a very simple example on how to create a sub BI oftentimes you only create sub BI's when you want to simplify a certain code and not only that you can also reuse the code again as you can see you can also click control and press left click to create a new sub VI here new sub VI of the Pythagoras formula and of course you can even uh, drag the sub VI from the project itself where you have the Pythagoras formula and you can just click on the Pythagoras formula VI and drag it here so that's how you can actually use sub VI in LabVIEW